What's going on, explorers? Brandon Abandon, your boy 6'4, exploring with Urbex Stickland. We got a cool little spot for you guys here today. It's not a time capsule, it's not really decayed. It's been here since uh, 2019, is when it went abandoned. It's here for redevelopment. It's on a busy street. They've got the grounds already torn up on both sides. I'm surprised it's been sitting here for this long, but the construction's finally catching up, so it's not gonna be here for long. We gotta check it out. It's got a cool like 70s, 80s vibe, I'd say. You guys are gonna love it. Let's jump right in there and let's get exploring. So we've got the house here, beautiful looking. It's got an awesome style front door. I like those triangle windows, the nice brick and the stone. Now I'm not sure if the front door is open, but I know that this door is open. So we'll start here. The fire alarm is beeping. Some beautiful old wood. There ain't much left behind. These people knew what was going on. This was a, a developer bought them. They moved, took everything. This isn't an abandoned scene where somebody passed away or moved away and left it. But all these little cubbies and all the wood, tiny little hallways. Very nice little country home. Beautiful wallpaper, nice tile. Even took their shower curtain. We got the old school shower nozzle. Now it looks like there's power in here, but there's no water. Toilets are empty. Nothing going on. Nice purple. Looks a lot more purple on the camera. That's a nice light too. Like the tiki bamboo style. wallpaper almost looks like it's textured no unfortunately not ooh but dusty it's gonna come off my fingers gross <laughs> a nice plastic wood <laughs> but another cool light bulb Big with the little snow accents. You can see the dust starting up here too. Now I did a quick little walk through and I probably cleared most of the cobwebs. Let's go that way in a second. That's the front. And one more little closet with some teak. All the rooms are painted in their own, their own style. Their own color. Nice wallpaper. Another nice fan. I thought it was gonna be that fire extinguisher that was beeping, but it's not. It's downstairs. We got some stucco. 
with this little tiny, I almost got to duck my hat to get it underneath. A nice little shelf built right into the wall there. Just an empty closet. Here's your front door with that really nice window. Nice fabric to cover it up. A nice living room. It's got that nice style stucco on the ceiling with some actual detail in it. And some paint starting to peel up on this side. Nice. But this is nice. Nice with the carpet. Nice fireplace. No vandalism here. That's always awesome to see. Still got the wood, everything all set up, ready to go. You can tell they had shelves and pictures on the wall from all their little markings, but they took it all. They took everything. Yeah, that's a nice little tiny house. See from the kitchen there to the living room there and your rooms. Very cozy. Very cozy. And if you're my size, it doesn't take you too long to walk around the house. Takes you out to your front yard. There's no upstairs, it's just a bungalow, so we are on the upstairs. From here, we get to go to the basement. There's another beautiful light bulb. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Got that nice old wood, so it sounds like I'm walking downstairs in a church. Some carpet. Now it smells very damp and almost urine-y down here from the, from the water. There's definitely been a little bit of water damage. I see some coming in the wall there. I'll just show you, see January 2019. That's gonna be the last day. Guess we'll just jump right into this gross room. Water damage, ruining coming in from the window. See the walls getting a little messed up down there. <laughs> so they've got this little hole there. And if you come into the bathroom, oh, <laughs> so it's when you're sitting on the toilet, you can look up here and see out the window. But then we got a little. A little opening, but that's also right here as well. That was that same curtain. All these doors are so low. Hey, here's my eye level right there. I'd be hitting my chin. Oh, gross cobwebs right on the lens. Now that's a weird door. I don't really... Oh, aye, aye, aye. Cobwebs. I don't think this goes outside. See all those cobwebs there? So this leads into the garage. There is nothing going on that I should be walking through all those cobwebs there. Uh, those are already all over my camera. All over my arms. See this big one here? Can you guys see that in front of my hand? Well, it's on my thumb now. This thing's attached to my shoulder. Like 20 feet long. Ugh. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Clear myself when I get out of here because I feel them everywhere. Very cool. Another fireplace. The beautiful old wood. But 
You can tell the way it's starting to get that little bit of like a gray cloud on it. That is where mold is going to start. I'm not sure what this little unit here is for. Huh? It's just blocking the vent. A little groove cut out to put some wood. Fire's still set up and beautiful. That's pretty neat. I just noticed a handle. Just a little, little secret area for more wood. cellar. I don't know maybe there is no power. It looked like there was on the meter but nothing inside's working so they must have cut it off. They must have cut the actual house off. That's really cool. Very old school. Let's jump in here. Little tiny kitchen. Kitchenette type area. Don't worry, we're gonna look in those shelves. Not much going on here. Little bucket possibly to catch a leak. Ew. Almost felt like something bit me there. But like this house is in, besides like the little bit of damage that's starting with the mold and all that. This place is actually kind of in good condition. Like it's being taken care of, even the pump's covered. But again, down here doesn't smell too good anymore. Definitely been water leaking in. A little storage area. One of these cool little shelves. But it's even got a drawer. And then this whole thing opens up as as a cutting board the wood's not as straight as it used to be anymore well, that's cool improved laundry habits can help preserve the lake tuesday march 7th 1995 very cool a couple little notes Cold, turn counterclockwise for off. Hot, turn clockwise for off. Oh, look at that. Still a little bit left in the pipes. But that was it. That's all she wrote. <sighs> all right. I'm going to get myself out of this basement now, I think. So that's the side door that we went in. Here's the back of the house. Here's the beautiful big property. They got an old satellite stand. They've got this little arch. But this is pretty neat. Look, they've got these trees here acting almost like a little wall from the house. And here's the house here, but you've still got all this backyard back here. What a beautiful property. And see these trees <laughs> blocking the house a bit. You got trees lining the whole property like a fence. Well, this is a nice size area. Beautiful too. Do a little walk here. Better keep things pointed at the house. Don't want to give too many hints away. Here's your garage. The front, remember where we started? And what's cool is, I'll show you a little bit of the truck right there, see? But they've got these trees blocking off this whole area as well. It's like a fortress hidden behind trees. It's very, very cool. Thank you guys. Thank all of you for joining me on this explore. Hard explorers. What do you guys think of this, eh? Cool, neat little house. 
Very cozy, very homely. I loved it. No vandalism. It smells almost like a cottage, but a little bit abandoned. I love these style spots. From the last video, I know you guys like them too, so I'm gonna keep popping them out. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Ran and abandoned, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. Follow.